At this point, we're going to take a look at the healing brush tool. It's a great tool, really works very well. And unlike the other ones, which except for, that is, the patch tool. The patch tool, we sort of defined a source. We said, look, I want this area to look like this area. Well, the healing brush tool does a similar thing. Unlike the spot healing brush tool, which you just point to and it figures out what's around that area and says, hey, well, uh, I'll help you with that, no problem. But here, the healing brush tool is a little bit more specific. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to revert this back to its normal shape and we can do that together if you're following along. And oldman.jpg here is what I have open. I'm just going to zoom in on some of these areas right here. And let's take a look at what the healing brush tool can do. Now very small, notice it's not feathered at all. And here if I were to press shift and left square bracket I can feather that all the way to zero. Let's see, there it is, hardness zero. So you can have a feathered edge or you can work with something that is a harder edge if you prefer and just my right square bracket to increase the size of that now let's take a look if you'll notice if I were to just click somewhere a little warning says option click to define the source point that's alt click on a PC that should be used as a repair so if you wanted this area to look more like this area over here you can do that quite easily just press alt or option depending on your platform click on it here and then notice how it's bringing that area over And if I come here and click on that take a look you'll probably be really really you know very difficult for anybody to see the change that was made in that area now look if I were to take this area that I took over here and sort of put it in with some place that you know looks very different like the shadows that's not a great idea because well I mean it, it worked okay here but and that's thanks to the power of the healing brush tool it's, it's extremely powerful but let's see what happens if we take it over here not such a great thing I'm gonna go back command Z I'm just gonna undo that particular move now let's set another source point for example if I were to come in here I'm gonna press alt and I'll set this area as my source and then when I let go I'm gonna come over here and click on that not left click as I did but not right click excuse me but left click and you can see the difference there's the big blemish and there it is without now I purposely took a little bit of the pattern that was here and brought it over here just to try and make it look a little bit more realistic and then with that again we saw how we can you know dodge that little area if it's a little too dark and we can work with those elements in here just like that so Nevertheless, these are great ways that you can go in and manage certain areas that have blemishes and remove certain things. So for example, I'll just go back to that tool again and I'll say, well, what about this area here overlapping this area? So let's take a very similar area. Notice it's starting to get a little dark here and it's little highlights in these areas. So I'm going to copy maybe this area over here and you could even make it smaller or larger whatever you want just press option I'll click there and then I'll come here and try to mask right over this area and you can see there that you know I've really done a very good job of removing some of those elements I'm gonna zoom out just by pressing alt by the way you don't really have to press alt it's it's all inclusive in here just left and right should be fine and notice the difference right you'd really be hard-pressed to notice that you know there was something here there was something there as well so you can work around with some of these elements and you know if we were to zoom in on this area over here for example you'll notice that small little darkness can be overcome just by coming in here alt clicking coming over here and just separating that space. You'll notice every, when you do click there's that little plus sign just off to the right of my brush preview and as you can see that little element 
just shows you know what areas you're copying so if you continuously brush with this you're continuously copying that area but what you may notice is that it did a really good job of eliminating that little blemish and it's hardly noticeable and, and I really believe that anybody would be very hard pressed to notice it was ever there so that's just a little bit more of working with the healing tool